Hi guys, my name is Scorpio. Today I'll be explaining quasi-connectivity. So here we have two pistons that is not being directly powered like this piston, but they are still extending. This is because they are powered by quasi-connectivity, which is a Java exclusive feature that started as a bug, but now it is an intended feature. Now I'm going to explain how it works. So basically, pistons, chopper and dispenser, they all work the same as a door, meaning if you want to power them, you do it as powering a door. If you could power a door, you could power all of them. Here are some examples. So now I'm going to power this piston diagonally, which will power the door. But why is the piston not extending? This is because it doesn't realize that it is being powered. So we need to tell it that it is being powered. To do that, we'll provide a block update beside it. And there are a lot of ways to do it, but the easiest way is to break or place a block. When depowering it, it's the same. The door closes, but the piston don't. We provide a block update to tell it that it should retract and it retracts. Same thing goes from the top. Here are some other examples. Powering it through a block and from the top. But here are some exceptions that doesn't require a block update because themselves will provide a block update to the piston. So here we are using slab because slab doesn't conduct redstone signal. So you could see that the redstone lamp isn't being lit, but the piston is activated. Same thing goes to button. Repeaters, comparators, dust, Rest on torch and observers. Here are some commonly used blocks to provide block updates. Note blocks, bells, which is immovable by pistons and non sticky pistons themselves, and rails. Here are the ways to power them. So we power this piston from the top. The node blocks updates the piston to tell it to extend and retract. Same thing goes to pistons and rails. Something interesting is that rails actually update the piston even one block above it. All right, that's all for this video. If you like my video, please leave a like and subscribe. I hope this video is being useful to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.